Hi, I'm Melanie, your plant-based coach at Truly Plant-Based. And uh, I'm here today because I would like to talk about the reasons why you should be taking chicken off the table. Now, I know we all love our chicken, right? We like it fried. We like it uh, smothered in gravy. We like it baked with some cheese on top. We like it stewed. You know, we like it sauteed in oil, all slathered in butter. We love our chicken, you know? But here's some reasons why you might want to take it off the table. Uh, fun fact, if you didn't know, the greatest contributor to salt and diet for people between the ages of 20 and 50 is chicken. Can you believe that? And the reason why is because chicken is injected with salt water and additives. And the reason why they do this is in order to increase the volume, the weight, in order so it can be sold for more money. You know, when you buy your packets of chicken, each one has a different price because it's according to the weight, right? So, yeah. And then when you look on the package, you'll see the, uh, it says minimally processed. That minimum processing is that when they're injecting the salt into the chicken and sometimes other additives. And also, um, you'll see the word GRAS, G-R-A-S in all caps, which stands for generally recognized as safe. And uh, Food and Drug Administration allows that to uh, be on there. And, uh, and they, that's what they do, they inject that chicken with the salt water to increase the volume and that's why it contains so much salt sodium right also chicken and eggs are loaded with cholesterol and animal fat right and what does that do it clogs your artery can turn to plaque leads to heart prop disease stroke and high blood pressure so some may say oh well I don't eat the fat the flesh has the fat in it as well. So that's another reason. Also, chicken is a major cause of foodborne illness. Uh, contains pathogens and carcinogens that lead to health problems. It's another reason. Also, you know the broiler chickens, they are injected with uh, uh, antibiotics and growth hormones to make them look plump. You know, you see them on those rotisseries turning looking all plump and juicy so that's what they do to, to increase the growth to for it to be appealing to the eye and to increase the weight to get more money so that's another reason um, also when we eat chicken we usually eat it when we eat it it's we slather it in our oil we deep fry it we slather butter on it we saute it in butter we saute it in oil we um, slather it or cover it in sauces. We um, stew it. We uh, boil it with cheese. Make casseroles and cheese. All types of things we do in order to eat the chicken. And we cover it in salt and seasonings. Never mind you that seasonings are plant. Dehydrated onion powder, garlic powder, and we have the salt. Because I don't know anyone who just likes to eat chicken with nothing on it just plain right so you know people say oh i don't like i don't like to eat plants or whatever take away the plants and just eat that that chicken <laughs> like that who wants to eat that right so when we do that then we it creates chronic disease the uh consumption of the oils the salt oil and sugar when we eat in the chicken so that's another reason and also, you know, some people may say, oh, well, I don't eat my chicken like that. I don't eat, eat I take off the fat. I only eat the breast because I don't eat all of that, right? Well, now they got this new lab chicken out that they created in the lab and they're selling it in some restaurants and I'm sure it'll be in groceries, your nearest grocery store soon. And they're not labeling it, telling people it's the lab. 
chicken and it's in the shape of a chicken breast. It doesn't have a bone and it's a chicken breast. So you don't know if you eating chicken breast or chicken mess. So <laughs> that's a serious reason to take chicken off the table. And there's so many other reasons why you need to take chicken off the table. It's a no-brainer, really, especially if you're dealing with prehypertension or high blood pressure. It's added salt to the diet, like we talked about injecting the chicken with salt. You may have been uh, really trying to clean up your diet and just eat a chicken breast, and you go to the doctor and you still can't get that blood pressure down and you can't figure it out. Well, it's that chicken. It's that chicken, remember? It's the main contributor of salt in the diet. So it needs to be taken off the table. And and you know what? Uh, there's so many ways to create unprocessed uh, chicken substitute that are just absolutely de delicious uh, using plants. So we don't need to really eat it. Uh, we, I know we like it, but just these few reasons we cover today is a real reason to consider taking it off the table. At plant, at Truly Plant Base, we use our signature program, Beat Hypertension, No Meds. We do not uh, encourage eating chicken in our program. We don't use chicken or other meat product, or any other meat animal products, and. Uh, if you're special, if you're dealing, you want to get your hypertension down, it's something really to consider. Getting those animal products out of your diet. So if you like more information, um, please subscribe and follow. And you guys have an amazing chicken-free day.